Hello and welcome to Book Reading with Sammy. Today we are going to read The Little Bee and the Baby Donkey, written by Ziba Raisi, translated by Hamid Zinlabdini. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. One of the spring days, a little honeybee with its friends left the hive to go to the plain. On the way, they saw a baby donkey eating grass. The little bee asked the baby donkey, What are you going doing here? My mother and I have come to the plain to eat grass, replied the baby donkey. What are you doing, little bee? The little bee said, My friends and I eat the nectar of the flowers. So, if I eat flowers, can I make honey too? said the baby donkey. Without waiting for the answer, she started eating the flowers. But she did not feel anything after eating the flowers. Asks to the little bee desperately, Then why can't I make honey? Honestly, I do not know the answer to the question either. But if you want to know, you must come to the hive with me so that we can ask our queen, said the little bee. The baby donkey said, I must first ask my mother. After the baby donkey talked to her mother, she started following the little bee. The baby donkey had to trot to keep up with the little bee. You know, the little bee was flying and she could not fly. Wait here for me to come back, said the little bee. As they approach the hive, if you get closer, other bees may think you want to bother and bite you. The baby donkey stood there for a while. After a while, the little bee came with the queen bee. After greeting, the queen bee answered the baby donkey. Look, my dear, God created the body of each animal differently. Our bodies are made so that we can suck the nectar of flowers with the snout we have and store it in a bag above our heads. After the baby donkey thanked the queen and said, So God did not create animals in the same way? Now I understand that only you can make honey. Well, when I grow up, I can do things that bees can't do. For example, a small bee cannot carry off a cart. The queen, the little bee, and the baby donkey all laughed. Then the little bee spun with its golden wings and flew to the desert and left. The baby donkey also followed him happily. The end. See you next time.